dear students today i am going to teach you some important points regarding directive principles dear students in my previous videos i have taught about directive principles of state policy it is guideline to the government for governance means how government will make policy means which policy will be made by government that will ensure political freedom social freedom and economic freedom and political social economic justice will be ensured so dear students you know that by fundamental rights political justice will be given but by that principle social and economic justice will be provided by that only welfare state the concept of welfare state will im, will emerge so welfare state means i have taught you maximum happiness to the maximum number of the people that is the goal of our framer and to achieve this this goal how to how government can achieve this goal welfare state and social and economic freedom in the society that's why they framed directive principles and today very interesting topic is there very brief one i would like to teach you some important points and if you, you can write down also that will be very very beneficial for you first point total i have made one slide and in that one more than 10 points are there and you should be very very careful regarding this and very slow mode i am going to tell you about main points means some points are some principles some good deed government is doing or government has done i'll explain minimum wages have been fixed in almost all the sphere of employment equal wages for equal work for both men and women have been enacted second point third point various programs have been launched to boost rural employment and in this in the in this series we can mention manrega manrega is a national scheme mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act it is a act which seek to provide 100 days job 100 days job guarantee to th to those people who are living in rural area and shram jayanti gram swaraj yojana are also exa example panchayati raj system next point has been given constitutional status by 73rd and 74th amendment act i have taught you one more amendment taken place 86 amendment act was added to ensure provision for free and compulsory education to children and right to education act was passed in 2009 to make it fundamental rights article 21 a i have also already taught many laws have been passed to protect child children from from exploitation and several law and welfare schemes have been launched to protect the women from exploitation dear students you should understand if human will be women will be exploited uh, human expl uh, children exploitation will be there women uh, women exploitation will be there so how maximum happiness will be coming so government had made some law to that by that law maximum happiness had been ensured 
हैज़ बीन इंस्योर्ड फोर्टी सेकेंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट एडेड अ डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल विच इंश्योर प्रोटेक्शन एंड इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ द इन्वायरमेंट एंड सेफ गार्डिंग ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट एंड एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ अ नंबर ऑफ प्रोग्राम लाइक सेव द टाइगर प्रोजेक्ट एंड राइनो एलिफेंट एक्सेट्रा आर बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन परसुवेंस ऑफ द न्यूली एडेड डायरेक्ट प्रिंसिपल एंड मेनी रिजर्व मेनी टाइगर रिजर्व पार्क आर देयर एंड मेनी अदर पार्क आर पार्क हैज बीन सेटअप हैड बीन डेवलप्ड ओके फॉर प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द वाइल्ड लाइफ आवर फॉरन पॉलिसी इज इन कंसाइंसेंस विद द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंटरनेशनल पीस एंड सिक्योरिटी एंड मेंटेनिंग जस्ट एंड ऑनरेबल रिलेशन बिटवीन नेशंस द गवर्नमेंट इंडिया सपोर्ट्स एंड वर्क्स फॉर द वर्ल्ड पीस एंड इंडियन गवर्नमेंट वर्किंग हाउ टू स्ट्रेंथन यूनाइटेड नेशन एंड आई थिंक यू नो यूनाइटेड नेशन मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव टू क्रिएट इंटरनेशनल पीस एंड सिक्योरिटी इफ एनी डिस्प्यूट विल बी देयर बिटवीन टू नेशन एंड मोर देन टू नेशन दैट शुड बी सॉर्टेड आउट बाई डेलीगेशन बाई नेगोशिएशन ओके बाई पार्लियामेंट्री कमेटी एंड यूनाइटेड नेशन वर्किंग ऑन इट टू इंश्योर वर्ल्ड पीस वेन वर्ल्ड पीस विल बी देयर देन प्रॉस्पेरिटी विल बी देयर इनोवेशन विल बी देयर एंड न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी विल डेवलप इनोवेशन कैन बी टेकन प्लेस इन ईच एंड एवरी फील्ड सो डेफिनेटली दैट विल इंश्योर मैक्सिमम हैप्पीनेस एट वर्ल्ड लेवल ऑल्सो सो दीज वर्क डन बाई गवर्नमेंट वेरी नाइसली द गवर्नमेंट द सर्व शिक्षा अभियान अ मैसिव प्रोग्राम सर्व शिक्षा अभियान आई थिंक यू नो दिस इज अ प्रोग्राम फॉर लिटरेसी हाउ लिटरेसी विल बी मोर अ सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन ऑल द स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया द नेशनल रूरल हेल्थ मिशन एन आर एच एम अटल रोजगार योजना एंड अंत्योदय स्कीम ओके अंत्योदय स्कीम इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्कीम्स मीन्स वेरी लो रेट राशनिंग विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन एंड बिलो पॉवर्टी लाइन सो दीज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स आर देयर गवर्नमेंट इज वर्किंग टू रिमूव द पॉवर्टी क्रिएशन ऑफ द मोर इम्प्लीमेंट इम्प्लॉयमेंट रेजिंग द स्टेटस ऑफ वुमेन मेनी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ऑन देयर स्कूल्स आर प्रोवाइडिंग फ्री मिड डे मील to the student i think mid day meal you know and more um, some more other important welfare schemes are there i would like to mention pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana in that yojana minimum premium will be given by farmers 2% or 2.5% if commercial crops is there to 5% premium will be given by farmers remaining government will pay so definitely when any disaster will be there or farmers crops will destroy by any reason so farmers will get compensation by insurance company so these welfare schemes are very very important kisan samriddhi yojana i think uh, modi government launched the kisan samriddhi yojana i think my words are getting this one You are familiar that six thousand rupees given to each and every farmer, and it will be given by three uh, installment to two thousand each. So total six thousand rupees will be given for the welfare of the agriculture. Farmers will get, and they can <coughs> utilize this this money for uh, their agricultural field. Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana. i think you are familiar that 1600 ad given by government 
means that money given by government to needy people for providing lpg connection and e shram card means <coughs> employment will be given by government by e shram card and ayushman bharat yojana if medical care it is like a Ob obama care Oga o obama care i think you know the uh, american ex president of Amer uh, america barack obama launched this scheme obama care all okay so likewise indian government introduced ayushman bharat yojana with reference to the ayushman bharat yojana if any person having card and minimum this yojana covered 1 crore people more than 1 crore people and 5 lakhs limit is there ki means free of cost cashless treatment will be taken place of needy people who is having uh, ayushman bharat card so these are very very important schemes i think these points are very very important for you and pradhan mantri janthan yojana started by our government and account has been has been open at large scale and 3000 insurance was given any accidental death will be the accidental death will be there then 1 lakhs more compensation will be given so these are welfare schemes means government wanted to eradicate poverty to provide maximum happiness to maximum numbers of the people and basically how emancipation of women will be there that is the main target and how exploitation of children and women will be will be over will be finished government is working on it so these points are very very important regarding directive principles okay now i am going to conclude my lecture and one more video i'll i would like to um, share regarding gandhian principle because separate question can be asked ki what are importance of directive sorry uh, uh, gandhian philosophy in directive principle so in next video that will i that i'll make thank you